Hello, welcome back. This is John. Welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel. Today is the final parts of the four-part series which I'm doing with Cup Noodle Soda. Today we have Chili Tomato. And this is in honor of the 50th anniversary of the invention of Cup Noodles by Nissen. They were the first company to make instant noodles in a little uh, styrofoam cup. There you see the 50th anniversary emblem on both the noodles and the can of soda. So, chili tomato. What's inside of it? Uh, the soda one, I couldn't really get like all the ingredients, just the, the fact that they said that this is a tomato soda. So, unlike the other ones, which kind of, they said one was a cream soda, one was a ginger ale, one was a cola, this one doesn't have like a classic soda that goes along with it that's flavored as tomato it's just called tomato soda so that should be interesting but let's see if it tastes like this cup noodles of chili tomato which if you need to know if you look inside see all these ingredients it has corn cabbage green beans chicken and tomato those red things are actually chopped up pieces of tomato um, and these other squares are supposed to be chicken, and there's cabbage, and little green beans, and corn as well. Let's go ahead and put the food in. So this little cube is supposed to be a cube of chicken. It does have a... Let's drop my chopsticks there. It tastes like freeze-dried, rehydrated chicken with the flavors there. We have your corn. It actually has a little bit of sweetness to it, which is good. You got your little cubes of tomato. So you're really just melting with nothing, but it's like sweetness. It reminds me of like a, a plum tomato. The green beans in here they're pretty thin. It just tastes like they've absorbed the, the broth. You have the cabbage as well. Pretty crunchy. And of course we have the noodles. I was expecting it to be a little more redder. Maybe it's just the, the sauce is a little thin. The taste of the noodles. As far as chili goes, when I was looking at the ingredients, I really didn't see any ingredients that looked like chili. Um, there's pork extract, chicken extract, fish extract. Um, vegetables, tomato powder, lard, um, all those vegetables that I told you about that I saw in the beginning, rosemary extract, but well, it says spice extract, so that could be the chili part in here. Um, but like no specific chili was mentioned. So I'm going gonna, gonna to get a little bit of the soup in here, the broth. Because the broth should be the most intense flavor part of this, I think. And it does taste, it tastes like a, not like a tomato soup, because tomato soups are kind of creamy. This is like a tomato, I don't know, tomato broth, if you think of a tomato broth. It's uh, it's not cloudy. I would show you this to you, but it's so deep in here, if I were to tip it over, it would just spill right out of the cup. There is visually like specks that look kind of like chili flavorings. Let's see if I get a, a big bite from the bottom, near the bottom end of it. Scoop it up. I do like the chunks of chicken. 
and the chunks of tomato in here. I'm a little disappointed in the, the chili name on here. When I saw chili tomato, when I saw chili tomato, I expected this to have more of a spice. Not necessarily spicy, but just like something kicking it up a bit. And it kind of just tastes like tomato. The broth does taste good. It tastes like a like a pretty decent tomato soup broth kind of thing. Next up, I'm going to pour the chili tomato soda into this cup. Let's see if I can hear any hiss out of this thing. A little bit, yeah. So it should still have a good carbonation to it. Again, the sell by date is February 8th on these. Today is January 25th, so this should have uh, no problem. Ooh, it smells good. So, this will the color of it, it's kind of pink, it almost resembles like a grapefruit juice kind of color to it. It's very tomatoey, but you also get that, that carbonation smell to it as well. So maybe that's all it is. Maybe it's just some like tomato juice mixed with some carbonated water. It kind of looks like watered down tomato juice. Let's see what it tastes. It's a bit sweeter than I was expecting. It's interesting. I don't know if you can, the camera's probably not going to pick this up. Like if you look into the cup, maybe. No, that's not picking it up at all. When I tip it up like this, I can see through the cup. And there's a little, what I would consider like oily globules. Um, on the bottom, which you can see floating on the top here, and when you tip it over, you can see where the, the, it sticks onto the sides of the glass here. It's like a little bit of an orangey, you know, like when you get a pizza, you have like little oils on top of it. These are really tiny, but you can see them on the bottom of the glass here, and you can see them on the surface. So this is the only one out of the four that I've seen that have that kind of like fat content. I've never had a I've never had soda that had an oil or a fat on it. You can definitely see it because the oil sticks to the sides of the glass. All right, I'm going to do a side by side. I'm going to taste some of the broth in here and then some of the soda. They're both very tomatoey. This is like this richer savorier, warm tomato. It tastes like you stewed uh, chopped up tomatoes with maybe some chicken or something. And you gave it some spices, definitely some salt, definitely a little bit of pepper. I don't know why, I wouldn't even consider it really chili, but the, they, they seasoned it up. And it's a very like umami rich tomato clear kind of tomato soup, like a red clear soup. This one is very sweet, but also has 
the flavor that sometimes like a, a flavored oil can give to something where, um, you know, some flavors just, some flavors are, are what they call fat soluble. So I think that's kind of why this has that fat in there to carry a tomato flavor better into this. Um, maybe if it was just water, they wouldn't have gotten the flavor they were looking for. Or even the smell. You know what? You know how sometimes in, at brunch, they give you the option between a Bloody Mary or a mimosa. The mimosa is uh, a carbonated wine, champagne or otherwise, and they mix orange juice with it. And then you have a Bloody Mary, which is a tomato juice spiced up um, with usually vodka added to it. This is almost like a weird Venn diagram crossover between those, where it's lacking any of the alcohol parts, where it is sparkling juice that's sweet, then it has the spiced tomato part to it as well. And it's like, it's oddly familiar to each other. So like, even though they don't exactly taste the same, you, when you taste either one of them, you both, both tastes, you know that what you're tasting is tomato. So you have like the rich umami tomato, it's like tomato chicken, and this is a sweet tomato. It's like tomato juice, but not the tomato juice that you think of. It's like tomato juice, if tomato juice was like, apple juice. It's kind of sweetened up a lot. Um, do they go together? Well, I think so, because they remind each, they remind you of each other, because you get the tomato just in a slightly different way, a different package, but they're both definitely tomato. Um, is it good tasting? Yeah, both of them are fine. Um, out of all four of these things, I didn't find any of the sodas to be really weird, which was a lot of reactions I got looking uh, up when these first came out. People thought none of those are going to taste good. They're going to be awful. Uh, who would want that type of beverage? It just sounds bad. None of them were like that. They were all enjoyable. Um, I think at the end of the day, out of the four of them, the original cup noodle was definitely my favorite. Um, both the beverage and the noodle. Uh, and it's, it's kind of disappointing because I know if I went to the store and got original cup noodle here in the United States, it would not be that one that I tried. It would be a very weak sauce version of it. Um, so if you're ever like in an Asian grocery store and you see cup noodles, but it has all the Asian lettering on it, I think it's a uh, Japanese. You should try that one because it has um, shrimp and other meats and vegetables, and it's it's packed with those. It doesn't doesn't have like a smite a little spattering of, of corn on top of it, like the ones you would get in the United States typically. Um, and the ginger ale on that one was really good. Um, Yeah, I think the, the, the weirdest one was probably the seafood one, just because it was a yogurty kind of flavor. I've had yogurty beverages before, and I've liked them. Uh, I'm just saying that's the weirdest out of all of these. The tomato one was not bad. It just it was like a fruit soda. Because, you know, like tomatoes are technically fruits, um, and they, they have other fruit sodas. They have like strawberry soda, cherry soda, apple soda. So why not tomato soda? It's a sweet fruit. Um, it can be made, it can be prepared differently. You can have a savory 
tomato dish. You can have a sweet tomato dish. Um, yeah. So there you go. That's part four. And that's the finale of Cup Noodle 50th Anniversary Sodas and their Cup Noodles. Hope you enjoy the series. Um, the next series will be a three-part mac and cheese series, which is technically part two of my Canadian Craft Boost series. Um, hope to see you on that one. Uh, there's other videos coming out as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.